Warning, federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of the copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain, cir eh, under certain circumstances without authorization of the copyright holders. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which does not doesn't infringe on copyright under Title 17 U.S.C. Section 107. What is good, everybody? Welcome back. This is part two of the breakdown of the Pelosi attack. In the first section, we went over some footage from <clears throat> the Young Turks. Conservatives attack Nancy Pelosi over her husband's assault. And CNN police reveal identity of man who they say attacked Pelosi's husband. So right now, in part two... Give me a second... Damn it, that's only going to do that. I hate how these boxes get mixed up. <clears throat> Alright, we are going to start with this footage from Fox Business titled disgusting the media tried to attach paul pelosi attacker to trump gop whitaker um so in the last one we basically showed some footage where they're trying to label this a political attack from the white ring right wing when we clearly see that this is all bullshit and this is just them trying to demonize the right <clears throat> their last chance before the primary elections right so let's dive into this well the man accused of attacking house speaker nancy pelosi's husband paul pelosi Set to be arraigned tomorrow, David DePape is facing a number of charges, including attempted homicide. Oh, my God. Fuck. Perfect timing for a fucking commercial, right? <clears throat> go we got that off now threatening a family member of a public official uh elder abuse i spoke with house minority leader kevin mccarthy about the attack yesterday on sunday morning futures violence or threat of violence has no place in our society and what happened to paul pelosi is wrong um Having heard it, I reached out and called uh, the speaker. Uh, she was on a plane back for her husband, but so we were able to communicate by text. She did say that the surgery went well. I wanted to convey that our thoughts and prayers were with her and her family and with Paul, and we hope him, for him a speedy recovery and that we're able to stop this crime across our country. Joining me right now is former acting U.S. Attorney General Matt Whitaker. Matt, great to see you. Thanks very much for being here, Matt Whitaker. Your, re your reaction to what took place uh, to Paul Pelosi? Yeah, well, obviously, it's, if, as reported, it's a horrific, you know, uh, invasion of his home and, and, a, and an assault on him. Uh, and it's, you know, political violence should never and does not have a place in our society. We have to look at a bigger picture, Maria, and that is, is that San Francisco is, is crime riddled. And a lot of it is due to the lax policies of the local prosecutor. And when you, when you take that context, it's going to be very interesting how this individual, um, who is charged with some serious crimes, whether he gets the same treatment as of a lot of the violent criminals in San Francisco and gets to is let out and is otherwise able to go about his life while pending charges. So I'm going to watch this case very carefully. Obviously, it's a very high profile case. So expect that this guy won't be treated the same as many others in San Francisco that are a menace to uh, the citizens there. 
Yeah, I mean, a new Gallup poll reveals 56% of U.S. adults say that there's more crime in their local communities than a year ago, uh, compared to 28% who say less. Nationwide, 78% of Americans say that there's more crime than last year, A.J. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on the importance of this going into the midterms? I'm just really surprised that there was even an ability to get... All right, sorry, I was going over some shit. Getting it transferred. But yeah, I mean, a lot of the crime rate, drugs, it's because of the border crisis that the Democrats created. I mean, there isn't no denying that shit anymore. Um, <clears throat> they have yet to show any evidence on this case, but yet they're beating it beating a dead horse with a stick, basically. Um, and the only thing that they can say that relates it to conservatives is that he supposedly stated, where's Nancy, where's Nancy? But if there was body camera footage, that would have been on there. But yet they don't want to show the body camera footage or they just want to make all these accusations right before the midterms and think that, oh, we'll just make a couple new stories after this. But as long as we can demonize them beforehand and not have to show any evidence before that, then we're all good, right? I mean, isn't that the complete def like definition of defamation? <laughs> like putting out shit without the facts and just saying the facts are whatever you say they the fuck are. Get so close to Paul Pelosi. I mean, Nancy Pelosi is the third in line for the presidency. <clears throat> Why wasn't there more security? Uh, how did how did law enforcement find them when they first arrived in the house? Covering the security again. And then the last footage, like I said, <clears throat> at all their other houses, which the Pelosi family has multiple, they have Capitol Police protecting their homes, regardless of Nancy Pelosi herself being there or not. So, what makes this house any different? And with all the camera f security cameras and shit that they have, why haven't they been able to show any of this? Is it because it'll show them setting up the scene? Rigging it all? Is that why? I think so. Yeah, there's been some real strange reporting out of this. And obviously, <laughs> Elon Musk's tweet, which he's since deleted, uh, is also interesting. Uh, you know, I, 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 I want to make sure we have all the facts. I, I've always... Yeah. Um, tried not to comment about crimes immediately after they happened because these investigations obviously uncover a lot of things. But you know, this 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 it was very surprising that someone could uh, quickly get into Nancy Pelosi's house. I mean, I think that's very concerning. I think everybody should be concerned for their own safety. And obviously, yeah. in this environment where we have rising crime in our major cities, uh, it is. Well, speaking of somebody, just breaking in. Normally, when somebody breaks in, they don't have glass. They don't have glass coming from the inside out. Normally, when people break in, the glass is broken on the inside. And it doesn't really look... Like, like, there's, like, just, what, a smidge bit? There's more glass on the outside than there is on the inside. And that's supposedly stumping FBI investigators. Normally, when you have glass coming from inside out, that's because you got ignorant people trying to rig shit. Now, this one's from NBC, says, There was a third person inside the house during the attack on Paul Pelosi. They can't even tell how the cops 
found this place. But apparently one story says that they came to the door, found it like this. And then they have another story saying that Paul Pelosi let them in while the uh, David DePep or De Pepe had him by the forearm. So make up your fucking minds. But for God's sake, stop trying to blame this on the Republicans because clearly it's not the Republicans. This motherfucker is a Canadian citizen. He overstayed his visa, and for some reason he entered the United States from the southern Mexican border. I guess he probably came through that <clears throat> since the Democrats opened the border. He probably was one of the people that threw away his ID and shit just to get him through here better, right? Let's check this out. Let's get the latest on where this investigation stands. I'm joined now by our uh, investigative correspondent, Tom Winter. So, Tom, we know that there's uh, multiple law enforcement agencies involved. We know that the suspect, uh, D David DePepe, is going to be charged tomorrow. What else have you learned overnight? Right. Some important details I think you might find interesting, Chuck. It's our understanding now that this individual, David DePepe, as you alluded to, 42, no known address, uh, no uh, recent employment. He's exactly 40 years younger <clears throat> than Paul Pelosi. Paul Pelosi's 82. This guy's 42. <clears throat> that we're aware of, uh, was able to get into the Pelosi bedroom where Paul Pelosi was. All of that, according to District Attorney Brooke Jenkins, in an interview with NBC News yesterday, she said that this individual has been interviewed by police, so it indicates that he is at least talking to them, which might help out figuring not only why he was there, what his specific motive was, but perhaps just as importantly, what he intended to do when he was there. Certainly anybody that brought a hammer and attempted to kill Paul Pelosi uh, is somebody that probably had some pretty violent intents if the speaker was there, but we're hopeful to get some. And see them trying to turn this into like a assassination attempt when this guy clearly stated that the most harm he wanted to bring to Nancy was that if she lied to him, he wanted to cripple her by the kneecaps. More information about that. Uh, as you said, expected to be charged on state charges tomorrow. She also indicated that it's possible <clears throat> the federal authorities could move forward with charges uh, in a parallel investigation or a parallel case uh, as well sometime in the future. You know, there have been a lot of, uh, of the reports have indicated sort of how police got there and they witnessed the beating at the time. And there seems to be a hint that there was a third person in the house. You've got some new details on that as well, Tom. What can you tell us? Well, that's correct, Chuck. So it, the police chief came out and did a press conference later on Friday when, when most people had uh, uh, already started to go to bed on the East Coast. And, and in that press conference, uh, he stated that there was a third person inside the house that opened the door for police when they were called to that house. And that's when they saw the struggle over the hammer between uh, De Pepe and Pelosi. And then De Pepe, according to police, uh, struck Pelosi in the head with that hammer. You know, we've done an analysis on De Pepe's social media and blog mm -hmm. posts over the years, both law enforcement, our analysis, kind of the same uh, in this. Well, if there was somebody that opened the door, most likely nine out of 10, they would be with the David De Pepe, not Pelosi, because Pelosi apparently didn't have no security there. And he was home alone, because Nancy was apparently in Washington, D.C. when this all happened. <clears throat> so who could possibly be that third person unless it was Nancy? Because they don't want to name her. Or name them, might I say. Like, there's, there's too much controversial shit being brought up on this story. And I've been monitoring it for the last week now. <clears throat> Paul Pelosi was let out of the hospital 
I believe, yesterday. And they still have yet to show any footage of any bodily damage done to him. No pictures, no nothing. Neither having him on camera. I've checked as many sources as I can find on this story. And besides the one police video here that I showed you on part one, the only other one that I have is this one. And this is like as much stuff that the police, the San Francisco Police Department and District Attorney's Office has given for updates all this past week. Attorney Brooke Jenkins, and I want to start by first uh, sending our well wishes to Mr. Pelosi once again. Um, we are truly praying for a speedy recovery on his part. I want to also start by thanking the San Francisco Police Department for their immediate and swift investigation of this case. I am here today to formally announce charges against Mr. David DePap in connection with the violent attack on Mr. Pelosi. The charges that we are filing today include attempted murder, residential burglary, assault with a deadly weapon, elder abuse, false imprisonment of an elder, as well as threats to a public official and their family. I don't know how they're charging him with attempted murder when he stated he would have broken her kneecaps if she lied to him. Never once stated that he was going to kill anyone, but yet they won't show none of the recording interviews or anything with David DePep. And with all this concealment, really makes me believe that they have some very important shit that they're hiding, which would blow this case wide open and show that they rigged the shit. They can't go and attack Trump anymore. So now we're just going to make up stories about Trump's supporters and make you all look like terrorists. When in fact the Democrats here that support this shit are terrorists. These charges are based on the following facts, many of which are contained in the federal affidavit that was filed today, as well as will be contained in the motion to detain Mr. DePap that we file tomorrow. Mr. DePap specifically targeted the Pelosi home to confront Speaker Pelosi. He forced his way into the home through a rear glass door by breaking that glass. The defendant made his way upstairs to the second floor of the home, locating Mr. Pelosi in his bed sleeping. He woke him up, confronting him about the whereabouts of Speaker Pelosi. Mr. Pelosi, who was sleeping, was wearing a loose-fitting pajama shirt and boxer shorts. He was forced to get out of bed, and at some point during that encounter, Mr. Pelosi attempted to access the elevator in the home, which has a phone. The defendant then blocked Mr. Pelosi's access to that elevator. It was at some point after that Mr. Pelosi asked to go to the bathroom, which is where he was able to call 911 from his cell phone. The defendant, realizing that Mr. Pelosi had called 911, took Mr. Pelosi downstairs near the front door of the residence. Two police officers arrived at the front door two minutes after that 911 call. When that door was opened, the defendant was holding his hammer, which Mr. Pelosi appeared to be attempting to control by holding a portion of that hammer. The defendant then pulled that So, from the neighbors, for what they've witnessed, from the bangs of him supposedly breaking the glass door to the time that the cops got there was in total around two minutes. 
So how does this person get through the door and know right where at like the exact place that this man is and does all this within like two minutes because the po the, the neighbors stated that no sooner there was bangs one or two minutes the police was there now I know it was a like code one response but I feel like it was like a movie set like they was already like sitting right around the corner waiting for their cue you know so that's where shit really seems rigged the hammer away from Mr. Pelosi and violently struck him in the top of his head The police then immediately apprehended the defendant. What we also have learned is that the defendant brought to the location of the Pelosi residence a second hammer, as well as zip ties, rope, and a roll of tape. What is clear based on the evidence that we have thus far is that this house and the speaker herself were specifically targets of the defendant. As for next steps. The defendant is expected to be arraigned tomorrow afternoon. My office will be filing a motion to detain him without bail. And that is based on what is obvious and severe public safety risks that the defendant poses to San Francisco as well as the outer community. Well, first off, I'd like to tell Nancy Pelosi that maybe this wouldn't have happened if you wasn't just letting any old person through the border maybe if we had better border security better migrant security say people that don't update their credentials like they're supposed to or didn't leave by the time they were supposed to we could use more people to make sure that that type of shit but these type of people, though, they're never going to agree to that. But then, look what happened. I think your own policies finally came to bite you in the ass. An Obama supporter that hated your decisions <clears throat> because the Joe Biden agenda is the far-left radicals even more radical than Obama's regime. And you pissed off some of your own people. And then now you gotta go and try to twist that around and say that it's all Republicans. When clearly, the person doesn't even have a right to vote. So what does it honestly matter what party he's part of? But he definitely is not part of the right. That's for certain. So uh, we basically heard all that we worth watching on that. Now here's an update talking about how Pelosi was released from the hospital. New questions about the suspect charged in the brutal attack on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband and reports he was in the country illegally. U.S. authorities telling ABC News that 42-year-old David DePap is a Canadian national and that ICE placed an immigration detainer on DePap Tuesday. They also say they have record of him entering the country legally in 2008 at the U.S.-Mexico border. But what's unclear is if authorities... See, why did a Canadian citizen enter through the Mexican border? Like, how did he even get to Mexico without coming through America first to begin with? Authorities have any other records of DePap entering or leaving the U.S. through either Canada or Mexico since then. Visitors from Canada are generally allowed to stay here in the country for up to six months at a time. All of this comes as DePap, who faces state and federal charges, is set to go. So if he can only stay six months at a time, he's been here since 2008. He's been here significantly way past his 
time. Like, I love how these people break the law for years and shit. But the slightest fucking thing I try to fucking do, like if I was to drive with a suspended license or a suspended tag, I'd be pulled over probably that same day. But these people fucking can go years without this shit. <clears throat> Before judge on Friday for a bail hearing. We certainly view him as a public safety risk to the city of San Francisco, certainly to uh, the speaker as, as time goes forward. In court filing, San Francisco prosecutors claim that DePap smashed his way into the Pelosi home with a hammer, waking Paul Pelosi from his sleep before eventually striking Mr. Pelosi in the head at full force with the hammer, knocking Mr. Pelosi unconscious. Paul Pelosi rushed to the hospital with a fractured skull and serious in But apparently he wasn't hit until the cops was there. But yet, how did the cops allow him to get hit if they was there when he got hit? If the cops got there and they had a hammer in their hand, why didn't they do something then? Wouldn't you think something kind of seemed a little fishy, a little funny? injuries to his right arm and hands. The House Speaker's office announcing Thursday that Mr. Pelosi was released from Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital, writing he is home surrounded by his Zuckerberg General Hospital. Did Mark Zuckerberg buy a hospital now? His family who request privacy. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles. Hi, everyone. But first off, spending a week for getting hit in the head one time by a hammer, that's a little excessive, don't you think? Is this the same one? Okay, no, they're two different ones. Some breaking news out of California. Paul Pelosi, husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, was released from the hospital late this afternoon, and he has returned home after being attacked on Friday. Today, federal authorities said the Canadian man accused of attacking Pelosi may be in this country illegally. The Department of Homeland Security said the suspect... Maybe, no, is in fact illegally in this country. 42-year-old David DePap may have overstayed his authorized entry into the country in March of 2008. Yeah, so if we're in 2022, then yeah, he's away the fuck over his day. And let's see what little Nancy. Now to some breaking news from California. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is speaking out for the first time since her husband was brutally attacked. She said it's going to be a long haul and, quote, we have to be optimistic. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, your prayers uh, and your good wishes. Too bad for Paul. she wasn't home. The suspect, 42-year-old David DePap, is being held on multiple charges, including attempted murder. Think that's a little excessive, don't you think? Is that all the ones that I have? One, two. Can't really go over all of this one. Let's see. Oh, and you've already heard this from uh, even former President Barack Obama uh, about b blaming Republicans um, and the and the rhetoric from mega maga which is something oh, yeah, that, that joe biden has said but we always refuse to focus on 
serious mental illness in this country, and then the, maybe it gets discussed kind of peripherally, but no one does anything about it. And that's such a good point, Dagan, and you're absolutely right. You know, this person, uh, obviously, to carry out an attack like this, you know, did most likely suffer from some mental uh, health issues. And, you know, it's, it's as we learn more about this individual, I'm sure that that's going to come into focus. But it is completely inappropriate and disgusting. It, you know, immediately after this attack, uh, the media seemed to try to find a way to attach him to President Trump or the, you know, Republicans. And I just, you know, th th we, we can't have a world where yeah, like, why is it okay that the left constantly demonizes and can push as much defamation, misinformation, bullshit that they want, but the slightest fucking thing we say, we're getting attacked, punished. Data management can be costly and complicated. Punished without anything having to be understood and shit just punished as soon as somebody makes an assumption you're automatically demonized if you're part of the right or agree with any of the right and then look at what precious obama says about this shit you got politicians who instead of wanting to bring people together, do their best to stir up division and make us angry and afraid of one another, all for their own advantage. And, and, and all of this gets amped up, it gets hyped up 24-7 on social media because they find it more profitable to stir up controversy and conflict than to lift up the truth and facts. What one thing's clear, this increasing habit of demonizing political opponents creates a dangerous climate. And, and elected officials who do not explicitly reject <coughs> or participate in over-the-top rhetoric, if that's what they're doing instead of, if, if, if they just ignore or make light of that kind of violence, or if they encourage their supporters to stand outside voting places armed with guns and dressed in tactical gear, if that's the environment <coughs> that we create, more people are going to get hurt. So basically what Obama is saying here is that as long as you're promoting shit against the right, it's completely okay, but because of the rhetoric that the Democrats, I mean, that the Republicans say about the Democrats is what has put their lives in danger, but it's completely okay for them to put our lives in danger with all their demonizations, defamation, you know, all that communist bullshit. So, they want to talk about the demonization, defamation, propaganda shit coming from the right. I beg to differ, and I have fucking proof here. This is shit that they send me just because I took myself off of the Republican Party. I have myself as an independent. So, the left send me tons of junk mail. You know, Big Pharma thought they controlled it all, then Team Johnson and Johnson stepped in. Team Johnson and Johnson will take on price gouging to save money, reducing costs. Like, they're only fucking focused on a few things. There's a lot of shit to deal with, other than just a couple of fucking things, like fucking medicine cost and <clears throat> um, allowing women to do abortions like a week before they're due to give birth 
you know. But th that's the most important shit about this. <clears throat> yeah, Team Johnson and Johnson capping insulin costs. Big Pharma's worst enemy. <clears throat> Johnson and Johnson again. This ain't even the best shit yet, though. Oh, wait, wait. No, nah, here's Johnson and Johnson now. Okay. <clears throat> Team Johnson and Johnson. Ghost guns have finally met their match. Andre Johnson's got our backs when it comes to protecting what we value. <clears throat> Andre's agenda. Back a consultation. Wait, consult. Wait, constitutional amendment to protect abortion access so women can safely access care they need, or to try to use uh, abortions instead of condoms and birth control. They use abortions as their birth control like every time that shit scars you inside that's damaging the uterus and the more scars and shit that you do and leave it's gonna make you more likely not able to have kids and they're trying to push it now like you can just have as many as you want and it's okay like that's so idiotic but these people though ban untraceable ghost guns but yet in the constitution we should have the right to be able to build our own firearms this is just a way for them to try to regulate the shit because honestly what the only thing that serializing a gun helps out is help them keep a registry of all the guns that they can come and remove. Look at what happened during Hurricane Katrina down in fucking Mississippi. They use those gun registries to go around and confiscate guns from people, which they try to say, oh, that's just a myth. That'll never happen. It's happened. And they'll do it the fuck again. They're just scared for people to own guns because they want you to believe that the Second Amendment is supposed to be for hunting. That you don't need nothing like what the military has. But yet, when the fucking Second Amendment was wrote, yes, the people did have the same firepower as the military. And know what? That was the whole point. If we have to go to war with the government, we can. <clears throat> Andre knows a thing or two about safety. No, you don't. Work to ban untraceable ghost guns and to increase criminal penalties for crimes like witness intimidation, sex trafficking, and gun trafficking. And please show me what constitution, constitutional amendment that states that a woman should be able to have an abortion two days and shit prior to giving birth. If you don't want to have a kid, why do you, why would you want to carry it that long anyhow? Why shouldn't six weeks be good enough for you? If you don't want it, you would think you'd get rid of it as soon as possible. And then, here's where the hate shit starts this is where the hate shit starts MAGA Mealy brags about his support from the Trump team stands with conspiracy theorists and insurrection supporters not Harford families Christian Mealy is a MAGA extremist who allied himself with people like the a conspiracy theorist who spread lies that the 2020 election was stolen. Mealy brags about being supported by the Trump campaign team, and he's running alongside Dan Cox, who arranged buses to send people to the violent Trump rally just before the January 6th election. And fucking Republicans are the ones defaming people. Get the fuck out of here. 
Obama. That's what you fucking Democrats, far left fucking losers are about. Is fucking pushing shit, propaganda, and garbage down our fucking throats. Know what? This makes me want to vote for these people because you're scared of them. And that says a lot about that to me. They want to talk about Christian Mealy politicians are quite literally rigging our elections. I guess that was what. Yeah, they can. That's why we're supposed to have laws set in place to protect cheating from happening on both sides. Not just for the Democrats to use it. <clears throat> Imagine if he also had a gun nearby. Looks a lot like Joe, doesn't it? Beating on fucking Jill. <laughs> oh, shit. And guess what? It's Christian Mealy, a Republican. Christian Mealy voted to let domestic abusers have guns. So? Domestic abuse is not a felony. So, some of the shit is actually, you know what, and in fact, it's easier, it's easier to get into our country than it is to buy a gun. So, there should be just as strict rules on that as you have on guns. But this shit's overkill on some of the shit. Go look at the fucking questionnaire you have to answer just to file for to fucking get a, a licensed gun. <coughs> Mealy sided with extremist groups that opposed background checks and red flag laws that keeps guns out of hands of dangerous people. Yeah, your fucking red flag law basically says your neighbor don't even have to know you for Adam. Just make you out like a threat and oh, they can come and take all your guns from you because your fucking crazy neighbor that you probably don't even get along with made you look like you're a terrorist. So that grants them the right to come and take your fucking guns? Fuck out of here with that shit. Fuck the red flag law. Red, la red flag law can eat my fucking fat hairy ass. I am definitely voting for fucking Christian Mealy now. How do they measure up? And this is Mary Delaney James. Yeah, versus Christian Mealy taxes. On Christian Mealy side taxes, a state delegate Christian Mealy worked with Governor Hogan to repel the disastrous rain tax. Mealy also lowered taxes for small businesses and will work to end Maryland atomic oh wait, automatic gas tax increases. And Mary is against that. Former delegate Mary voted for 33 tax and fee increases, including the rain tax. <clears throat> Hogan, <clears throat> Christian Mealy, is endorsed by Governor Larry Hogan for state senate. No to Mary. Uh, Mary said blood is on the governor's hands and is launching crazy attacks on Larry Hogan. Seniors Christian Milley supports eliminating the state income tax for Maryland retirees. Mary opposed cutting the state income tax for retirees and wants to pass new taxes on retirement, which would mean more money out of them. <clears throat> oh, actually, you know what? This is one for Milley, so... Yeah, this actually shows all the good shit. But, I mean, this this is more proactive than this one that's attacking Mealy to this one that's made by Mealy. You know? His is actually a lot more friendly. <clears throat> but I mean, do I really have to like go over all of these? I mean, I got like t six more or so. But yeah. <clears throat> Democrats are looking horrible. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. 
And I mean, you'd have to be an absolute retard to vote for these people. When you're truly from a community like Harford County, you know what folks need and how to get it done. No, that don't mean shit. Don't mean shit. Can you help us? Teresa Walters, last seen campaigning with MAGA Republicans running Make Glenn Class. Oh my god! Stood by Trump even after the January 6th riots. Glenn Class Facebook. Against abortion says it's never medically necessary. Um, see, like, they keep on trying to say that Republicans are completely against abortion, saying that, e oh, they, they are against it even if it's over rape or incestual, shit like that. No, that's actually some of the few things that they've actually been okay with. They just don't want to let a woman be able to use abortions like condoms, per se if you get that analogy. <clears throat> Against red flag laws to take guns away from people who are considered to be dangerous to themselves or others just because your crazy, stupid fucking neighbor that's just afraid of guns just wants to be like, oh, he's a danger, he shouldn't have them, so then they can just come and take your fucking guns. That's a stupid fucking law. That should never fucking exist. It should not be that easy for somebody to call up, say you're a danger to somebody, not even have to fucking know you, but be able to tell the cops that you're dangerous and them just come and take your shit away. Fuck that and fuck you if you support that shit. <clears throat> Teresa Walter avoids the positions hoping you won't notice. Glenn Glass, extreme positions are dangerous for our community. No, ignorance is dangerous for our community. And that's exactly the garbage that the Democrats are pushing. But I'm pushing 47 minutes on this video. And I think I've made my point clear enough for this shit. So I will be posting up future videos to update this shit. But this is all the info that I've come across basically <clears throat> in the last like week and a half since this shit started <clears throat> like i said yesterday paul pelosi was released from the hospital or maybe the day before that but it's within the day last day or so he was released so this was from start till up till then so i hope you like the video and give me a thumbs up and subscribe and help me grow the channel so i can create better content but i am your boy fat mike signing out hope to see you in the next one deuces